The purpose of this video is to walk you through the question relevant to the study that had a stranger approach people and ask them to lend their phone to that person. And there were two conditions in that study where the stranger offered a fake apology and in the other condition there was no apology. So the stranger approached the person at the train station, offered an apology about the rain, asked them to borrow their phone, their mobile phone, and in the other case they didn't offer an apology before they asked. So these data are coded 0 and 1 accordingly and the cell phone variable has been coded with cell phone no, the person decided not to lend the person their mobile phone or cell phone, however, whatever country you live in. And in the case where it was a yes, it was coded a one. So we have two variables, condition and cell phone. And to analyze these data, to test the chance, test the hypothesis that it'll be an equal percentage across giving a fake apology versus not, we could conduct a Pearson chi-square analysis. Before I do so, though, I would like to look at the percentages. So descriptive statistics, cross tabs, condition in the rows, cell phone in the columns, and we want statistics, we want chi-square, phi, click continue, and in the cells, we'd like to see the expected cell frequencies. You don't need this for the purposes of doing an analysis in a study, like a research paper that is, but it's nice to look at it, especially if you have an expected cell frequency that's less than one, then that has implications. Click percentages of the rows, and click OK. And so here are the results. You can see that there were 65 individuals who participated in the study. So the, the confederate, if you will, approached 65 different people at the train station. And here are the results where we have here the cell phone was lent to the person, yes or no. And we can see that most of the time people said no. 72%, 72.3% of the people did not lend the phone to the actor, if you will, asking them for their phone, but 27.7% did lend the phone to the person. And we can see that when the uh, actor offered an apology about the rain before asking them the question, it was found that was 46.9% of the people offered the phone, so it's nearly a 50-50 success rate. But when no apology was offered, there was only a success rate of 9.1. So the question here is, the numerical difference between 46.9 and 9.1 is apparently large, at least in percentages, but is it statistically significant? And the answer to that question is, yes, it is. So the Pearson chi-square value is equal to 11.58, and with one degree of freedom, the p-value is equal to 0 0.001, because that p-value is less than 0 0.05. We can reject the null hypothesis of equal percentages between the two conditions, offering an apology or not, with respect to whether somebody offers their phone and lends it to the person. And we can see the phi value here is equal to 0.422. So that's the answer to this question based on the real study in which people were approached at a train station. So it does seem like offering a fake apology, even though the person knows that it's fake because the person didn't cause the rain to happen, it's still managed to increase the chances of getting the person to lend them their phone.